The topic on this video is sensible heat gain calculation from ventilation. In the first part we discuss about minimum ventilation calculation and ventilation requirements based on CFM per person, CFM per square feet and CFM based on the occupancy density per 1000 square feet. So we use two methods to determine the ventilation requirements in the space. The first method was CFM per person and we got 125 CFM of airflow for 25 people. And the second method was CFM per square feet that we got 126 CFM for an area of 21,000 square feet and let's discuss some more about ventilation and outdoor air that why and what the outdoor air is uh, used for the outdoor air is uh, often used to dilute or remove contaminants from the indoor air and the intentional introduction of the outdoor air into a space through the use of building HVIC system is called ventilation. The outdoor air must be cooled and dehumidified before it can be delivered to the space and creating an additional load on the air conditioning equipment. So you shouldn't depend on infiltration air to satisfy the ventilation requirements of a space when the outdoor air is not moving due to wind and the amount of infiltration can drop to zero and instead it's common to introduce the outdoor air to the HVIC system and not only to meet the ventilation needs but it also to maintain a positive pressure relative to the outdoors within the building. So this positive pressure uh, reduces or may even eliminate infiltration of and condition air from outdoors. So remember to pressurize the building. The amount of outdoor air uh, brought into a space for ventilation must be greater than the amount of uh, air exhausted through central and local exhaust fans. The amount of uh, outdoor air uh, required for a space is uh, often prescribed by local building codes or industry standards such as uh, ASHRA standard 62 ventilation for acceptable air quality uh, prescribes the quantity of outdoor air required per person or per unit area to provide adequate ventilation for various types of spaces. Uh, methods of ventilation uh, requirements calculation the required quantity of the outdoor air involves these uh, three these uh, three methods the first method involves uh, multiplying the number of people in this space by the quantity of CFM per person the second method uh, involves uh, multiplying the number of CFM per area square feet and the third method involves uh, multiplying the occupancy density per 1000 square feet. 
The sensible heat gain from ventilation is uh, calculated using the same equation as for ventilation sorry as for infiltration so Q is uh, equals 1.08 times the airflow times delta T so you need to remember that 1.08 is not constant which is derived from properties of air at standard condition of 69 degrees uh, Fahrenheit dry air at sea level so air at other conditions and elevations will cause these factors to change so first example 1.08 times 125 CFM times 95 degrees uh, Fahrenheit minus 75 degrees which uh, gives us uh, 27,000 of uh, BTUs per hour so the 27,000 of uh, BTUs per hour is the amount of heat gain from ventilation that must be cold and dehumidified before it can be uh, delivered to the space and it's and it's a coil load but not a space load so all sensible loads can be a coil load but all coil load can be sensible space load so the cooling of uh, ventilation or the outdoor air is coil load not sensible space load so here is one more example that we calculated based on CFM per square feet that we got 126 CFM of airflow so q sensible equals q sensible equals uh, 1.08 times uh, 126 cfm times 95 degrees minus 75 which gives us uh, 2721.6 BTUs per hour so again remember that this is a coil sensible heat gain which is a product of 125 CFM and not sensible space load okay that's it for today thank you for watching this video